In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Ye all are brethren. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not by filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. 1 Peter 5, verse 2 and 3. Who gave man his life? Who gave him his reason? Did not God? Let not the Christian who is dependent on God for every breath he draws feel exalted above his brethren. He should not dictate terms to them as though he has given them life and intelligence, and therefore they were responsible to him. There is coming in among us a spirit which God would not suffer to rule. Never should Christians feel that they are lords over God's heritage. There should not be among Christians a spirit which makes some patrons and some protégés. The commandments of God forbids this. All ye are brethren. Matthew 23, verse 8. No man is to think that he is the owner of the minds and capabilities of his brethren. He is not to think that others must submit to his dictation. He is liable to err, liable to make mistakes, as every man is. He is not to try to control matters in accordance with his ideas. He who yields to this spirit of self-exaltation places himself under the control of the enemy. If ministers of the gospel cannot harmonize with all his ideas and imaginings, he turns from them and speaks against them, pouring out the sarcasm and bitterness in his heart upon ministers and ministry. None of this work bears the signature of heaven. Christians should reveal the tenderness of Christ, and this they will do if Christ abides in the heart. They will recognize Christ in their brethren. They will take sweet counsel together. If the dark chapters of human history were traced out according to the truth, how much would be flattering to those who exercise so much authority, who feel competent to say that others should do as they dictate? Jesus has given us an example in his life of purity and perfect holiness. The most exalted being in heaven, he was the most ready to serve. The most honored, he humbled himself to minister to those who at a short time before had been disputing to who should be the greatest in his kingdom. Seeking our own preference at the expense of others is a dear experience to gain.